This is an accelerometer made out of a fishing bobber attached to fishing line and the lines attached to the lid of the jar. The whole apparatus is turned upside down. Both a camera and the accelerometer are attached to two different skateboards and the two skateboards are attached together. So when the accelerometer moves, the camera is recording the action. The accelerometer is now moving and you can see the bobber is moving as well. If positive acceleration is happening, then the bobber moves in the direction of the positive acceleration. If negative acceleration happens, the bobber is moving in the opposite direction of the negative acceleration. The reason why this happens is because the water inside the jar has inertia. The water is at rest and wants to remain at rest until an outside and balance force is applied. So the water stays in its position pushing the bobber forward during times of positive acceleration. During times of negative acceleration, the water has inertia and it still wants to move forward, therefore pushing the bobber in the opposite direction. In this type of motion, the bobber does not change direction. This indicates constant velocity. In constant velocity, all the forces are in balance causing no change in speed or direction, which velocity is speed and direction. Here's a top-down shot. The accelerometer is moving relatively at constant velocity. It's not perfect constant velocity. The bobber is moving just a tiny bit but not a whole lot, indicating there's not a whole lot of changing of direction or changing in speed. So that is constant velocity, no change in speed or direction. That's because the forces that are involved are all in balance. It's not perfect, that's why the bobber changes position slightly. Now we're going to take a look at positive and negative acceleration. Again, you're going to see that the bobber moves in the direction of positive acceleration. And it's, again, it's because the water has inertia. And it is the last thing to go. So it pushes the bobber forward in the direction of positive acceleration. In negative acceleration, the water stops pushing the bobber in the opposite direction backwards. Now we're going to take a look at a situation in which the accelerometer, I'm trying to move it in a constant speed. The speed is the same, but the direction is always changing. And that is a change in velocity. That is acceleration. If there's a change in direction, there's a change in velocity, because velocity is both speed and direction. So even though there's constant speed, the accelerometer is accelerating because the direction is always changing.